Hello and welcome back to another video. It is I, Crusader King, and today we're back at it again in the Great War Redux mod. And I thought today, why don't we play straight up going to Germany? So, German Empire, World War One. Welcome. Uh, we have an election for some reason. I'm gonna keep it on non, on AI, uh, and alt historical. I'm gonna. I can't speak. I'm gonna put a uh, historical off. So. Welcome, my friends, and as you already saw from the introduction, I think it's time we do the one decision. We're just gonna run with this, and we're gonna see how far we go. So, you see Mr. Wilhelm over here. This guy, this guy's pretty smart, you know? Uh, pretty smart. He caused the, you know, he kind of entered Germany into the First World War. So, we're gonna prevent that. All right, Mr. Wilhelm. Sorry, Mr. Wilhelm, but we're gonna need to contain you. The beautiful thing about our boy Wilhelm, before we fire him, is that he is gonna be pretty powerful. But I am going to wait before I get anyone because look at that high command cost, all right? You can't get that with Wilhelm, so we're not going to get it with Wilhelm. Instead, we are going to prepare. We're going to contain the Kaiser and we're going to save Germany by making it go democratic. So we're going to do the constitutional compromise. And once again, we can, all right, you know, we can make it cheaper. But the political power advisor cost that Wilhelm gives me is way better. So we're going to keep on waiting. Okay, boys? You know, Sally, Wilhelm's time of being leader, it it kind of it kind of changed. You know, oh shoot, the general staff thing roar off. No, but luckily, we did end up getting this man, Mr. Smooth Machine Hans von Luschwies. I don't care, Hans, get the Flammenwaffe. We're gonna contain the O L the O H L. So this will give me a reformed general staff, and Ottoman Empire wants to buy some pre dreadnoughts. Now, this will give me some decent political power. I don't need it, though, because I don't need the Ottoman. All right, boys. So, we're going to start improving. Oh. God, it's Albert Einstein. It's Albert Einstein. Oh, my God. It's Albert Einstein. Oh, my God. So, yeah, we're going to just be waiting a while. Sadly, we're not going to get these guys, I'm pretty sure. Uh, current ruling party is authoritarian. Oh, boy. Oh, golly gee. That's great. So, the problem is, I don't need this guy. So, I'm gonna need somebody else. Where are they? I'm gonna get, uh... Hmm. Alright, fine. I'll get the army reformer. Yeah, so these guys are now extremely cheap. I mean, look at this. 25 political power. Don't mind if I do. So, yeah. Imperial research will allow us to have Albert Einstein, who will give me a lot of... He'll give me some nice nuclear power, and then we can actually get... Um... And then we can actually get some other people. So... Let's start doing the Central Powers Conference and, uh, let me just save the game in case anything too crazy happens. Okay. All right. So we're going to need the Central Powers Conference and hopefully, yeah, the conference is beginning. So let's rejuvenate the military staff. Hopefully the military is on our side and let's start getting trade interception. So we're going to need to talk to Austria and we're also going to need to be talking to, to the Kingdom of Italy with Giovanni Gioletti. Hopefully, Giovanni does agree to uh, maybe joining us. I mean, you know, we are friends after all. But sadly, it really depends on how this game's going to go. But yeah, we have the Ajir Crisis. I forgot about the Ajir Crisis. And oh, look, we can get some people on board. Okay. All right. We can't actually start inviting people. So let's invite the Kingdom of Italy. I think they will agree to transfer states. What? Excuse me. What now, Mr. Habsburg? What are you doing? All right, whatever. We're going to get uh, you off for Switzerland. We will give them <laughs> nothing. All right, let's give them some economic support. All right, you know, we'll we'll, uh, we'll do nothing but uh, that, you know. Well, in the Netherlands, we'll give them uh, military technology, and then we'll finally invite the Swiss. I think I'm going to do that, and I'm going to give them also military support. I don't know if this bases it off of um, how friendly you are to them. All right, so we did get some of these things. Uh, Switzerland refused. Agreed. Netherlands refused and Norway agreed. Excellent. All right. You guys are helping me out here. So I think they will eventually join. Uh, I don't really know, but I guess the Netherlands didn't join, which just kind of sucks, doesn't it, Netherlands? I thought we could be friends, but sadly, I don't think we we're going to be able to. Yeah, but also sadly, Switzerland didn't join. But on the bright side, Italy did, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Italy did. So I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with the results. Anyway, we're going to start democratizing the army because that's really all we can do currently. And somebody got assassinated. Luckily, it wasn't my man. My man's got his long ass beard and that nice hairline. It's falling off. 
but he's got a decent hairline, all right? Look at it. Look at it. Mmm, smooth. That's what counts, all right? That's what really matters. Anyway, we're going to start targeting Warsaw. Let's give him some supplies, you know? Let's prepare them. Let's give him everything we got, you know? Let's just, yeah, let's help out Warsaw. Oh, no. Al Alfred. Alfred von Schlieffen has passed. Oh, what the fuck is that? Wait, this isn't Kaiserreich. Wrong timeline, Eugene. This isn't Kaiserreich. You're a couple years too early. But alas, we're going to keep on going down the trench assault. I probably should have done the whole tank blitz, but I'm not, I don't care. All right, we really can't do anything beyond this because I have no military. I mean, I have no uh, industrial path that's kind of stuck down here for some reason. But alas... We're going to ensure the neutrality of Romania. So let's call up Romania and let's get some decent relations with them. We are the same, uh, we are the same, uh, uh ideology. So, you know, it's not going to be that hard, but we will begin building more stuff. So let's get carrier pigeons. Let's just keep on stroking a lot of resistance contacts here in Poland. If some, if we can somehow make Poland break out, that would be kind of hilarious. Military access in Japan. I don't have military access in Japan. Why haven't they? Oh, no. Franz Ferdinand got assassinated. Okay. All right. Things are really heating up now. Oh, all right. All right. All right. Dude. Uh, uh, France. France. Come on, man. <laughs> come on, dude. Please. Stockholm calling. What is this? Uh, led by a germophile. Has come to an intriguing proposal. They offer us an award against the taunt in return for us guaranteeing them a piece of Russia. Sure. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do it, Sweden. Uh, we'll be best friends. All right, World War One's about to start, and hopefully nothing too chaotic happens. The UK is not in a war. Okay, we're, uh, oh, oh, little old Austria, how oh, we have failed you. All right, Austria, seems like we have to be a little historical. So yeah, the issue is, all right, France is looking not very good, needless to say. They are attacking both Italy, so Italy is in our faction in this tour. And I'm just kind of hoping to get everyone else involved hopefully no one uh, no one gets very good ideas i'm hoping that britain does not get involved though that is certain i do not want the british to get involved yet hopefully they did pa yes okay they did pax britannica excellent they will not get involved then the problem is i don't really have a huge standing army and looking as how my friends are performing they're not performing very well even in tiny old serbia Oh, God, this isn't going to end. Oh, wait, wait a minute. We can actually organize the Siva. I'm just going to get the Kwangdo agreement so that way we can get Japan on our side. And then we will probably enter the war. All right, boys. I'm ready, Mr. Krabs. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Victory Royale, baby. <laughs> I'm going to enter their paths. They will not stop me. I am unstoppable. Oh, wait. I forgot about that. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. All right, boys. Start uh, start patrolling the seas. Start patrolling. You might want to start doing that, Mr. Krabs. There we go. We're doing pretty good on the fending. I don't know if I can break in. I think I can. Let's go, Mr. Krabs. Yes. Break into Belgium. We will surround the French. Yeah. So, um... They're not doing too well. I'm just saying that. Fall of the British government. Okay, looks like they're going to fall apart. And, uh... But right now, we're, we're pretty much winning, Mr. Krabs. Kind of. Where did I put my other army? Oh, right, my other army's here. Now, if we can get these guys out of this position, we think we should be fine. And we can be able to unite both fronts here. Alrighty. Alright, let's push. Uh, let's also get... Which one are you? You. Let's push you two. I don't know what's costing me so much. Um, French Republic, everybody. All right, you know what? We're going to get these Frenchmen on our side. Yeah, let's go, France. Let's go, France. Let's go, champ. We've got France. Just the, just the better French is all. All right, uh, scratch all my orders. You know what? Just scratch it. We're helping the French take them out. We're going to wick. We're going to get the victory royale. We're gonna win, men. All right, let's get uh, let's get professional army corps, maneuver warfare, and let's get best of the best. I forgot, nicely done. Best of the best does help me out a bit, and uh, the British are here. They um, they gonna do anything? Probably. All righty. Well, how was I doing here in in Africa? That's all about to go bye bye, apparently.
Yeah. That's not going to be fun, but apparently uh, I still have some naval superiority. So before I do anything, can I get at least... Yes, yes, I can. I can assemble a very, very tiny army. All right, hold on. I've got an idea. Now, this might be a very, very smart or very, very bad idea, but we'll just have to wait and see. Socialist States of America, don't care, didn't ask. I am defending democracy. Trust me, lad. All right, come on, buddy. One division. Uh oh, my. Yes. Okay, wait a minute. All right, wait a minute. They left over completely undefended. Let's go. All right, maybe we can get enough of support. Yes. Okay, we're going to cut these guys off. But yeah, we've, inset we've invaded the British Isles. You know, we're doing very well in Britain with the British and hopefully Persia. Hey, Persia. How you doing? Oh. He did grow up. Okay, nice, nice. Thank you, thank you, kid. The uh, kid grew up. Very good. Are right, we gonna we're gonna get them out of here from from Cornwall? They have a bunch of divisions all in London. They are just staging the battleground somewhere. Uh, yeah, they're doing fine. They're doing fine. All right, they're not doing too bad. All right, Glasgow is here. Uh, how far are they from capitulation? So very close. So I'm gonna start getting the cryptology of these guys and the. I can't even get the cryptology of those. How are we doing in Russia still? We are doing fine. We are very, very much stretched very thin in Russia. But once we finish the war in the West, I mean, yeah, in the West, I think we should be fine completing Russia's stuff. I like how, it, you know, historically, we ended up taking out Russia first. Here, we were just taking out the British first. The British started. Oh! We did it! Okay, well, um, first things first. I, I can't select the whole navy. Okay, I'm just gonna try and puppet Britain here. Alright. Well, I ended up getting the British as a puppet. I also got Azad the Hindu as a puppet. Sadly, I'm still at war with Australia in the fact. Uh, Canada also broke free, which is something that sucks. But hey, on the bright side... Oh, wait, the UK ended up also remaining. Okay, well... For the most part, we got Britain. We won. We got the war done. Yippee. Uh, except, you know, Britain still remains over here for some reason. But I also ended up getting this. And we got a lot of territory over here. Belgium apparently got a lot more because for some reason they haven't capitulated. Oh, who do I need still? The Russian Empire and the French Empire. All right, Belgium. I'll come for your ass. All right, most, if not, well, almost all of France is essentially secured now. We don't need to worry about it. I'm genuinely more so surprised at the fact that the French and the, uh, Britain fell faster than, you know, Russia. When Russia's the one at the threat of revolution. I mean, come on, guys. Even Russia survived longer than you all did. That is disappointing. Oh, yeah, and also Serbia. Little old Serbia somehow survived longer than all of you. Luckily, we did just, you know, free up uh, those guys as well. And now we're just going to bring everybody over here. We're so close to Petrograd. It's, I can almost feel it. I wonder what happens if I do this. 66%. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh, my game just about crashed. So I'm, I think it means that uh, the Russians may have risen up. Yeah, no, it, it's calculating it. This is a scripted peace deal at the end of the day, but the Russians have finally capitulated. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Yes. We did it, boys. Victory is ours. Huzzah. All right. I still have zero clue how the French Empire is pulling this one together. Offers surrender terms to the Anta. Oh man. Finally. Finally. You do not know how I really want to do that. However, more favorable terms can happen. I just need 100% of France to collapse, okay? I've had so many combat casualties that I can't do anything. Of <gasps> oh, finally, yes! Oh my god, my voice broke. Oh my god, we did it. We won! The war is over! Yippee! Oh my god, okay, we can finally ease up conscription. We finished. Winter is done. And now we've won the Paris Peace Conferences. 
Uh, make it include the, the nations. Wait, did we win? Is this considered as like a victory? Sculpting of the fleet. What well, does it matter now? Kiel Mutiny. Baltic Duchy. Ah, oh, great. The Duchies abandoned me. No! A2 Brute. There. Oh, yeah. I think I'm about to end it here. We ended up winning the First World War it, 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 by a technicality. I don't know what this does, but it's not a treaty of it's not the Treaty of Versailles because we ended up winning. So yeah. anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did like this video, please consider like, liking, and subscribing. Uh, this was very fun. Uh, why did everybody here just leave me? My whole faction just completely crumbled in like five seconds. Okay. Well, on the bright side. We won, and that's all that matters. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this kind of content, please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, thank you guys so much for uh, 1.9K. You know, it's been fun. Anyway, that's about it from me. Uh, yeah, see ya. Bye-bye.